G'day everybody, I've got Keith Wiley here and he's the author of A Taxonomy and Metaphysics of Mind Uploading, which is a new book on mind uploading. And uh, Keith Wiley's got a PhD in computer science and has been um, around the sort of the neuroscience slash uploading scene in the transhumanist forums and community for since the 90s, I believe. Um, so welcome, Keith. Do you want to give us like a quick elevator speech of your book? Uh, yeah, sure. So thank you for having me. Um, I uh, have recently written this book, uh, Taxonomy and Metaphysics of Mind Uploading. And um, I wrote it for uh, a few different purposes. The book has two major sections. The first section presents, uh, as per the title, a taxonomy, which is essentially a, a collection or a list of um, really sort of fun uh, thought experiments or hypothetical scenarios by which uh, what we call mind uploading might be achieved and you know many of them uh, utilize technology that is far beyond our current state but um, it's basically it, it's almost a reference section it's, it's just a really fun place for people to find a whole lot of philosophical uh, scenarios that they can kind of bounce their own personal philosophy of mind and their own philosophy of mind uploading off of to see whether their views make sense um, you know across a wide swath of hypothetical scenarios then um, the second section of the book basically presents my personal uh, philosophy of how, what I think minds are how I think minds work with brains and culminates in my views of how I think uploading works and at the end of that uh, at the end of the second section of the book I basically present my argument um, which is sort of a valuative argument, it's an argument where I'm, I'm really sort of telling people how I think we ought to judge these scenarios and um, you know my, my primary thesis at the end of that section is um, actually not a really popular position philosophically I find that people disagree with me sometimes but I'm taking the stance that we can regard all of the minds, all of the people, although some of those people might be computerized or robotic in various ways, we can regard all of them as uh, having, and I use, I have a specific phrasing here, I say they all have an equal primacy in their claim to the identity to the original subject who submitted themselves to the to the you know sort of medical procedure of uploading and I even maintain that under um, sort of a scenarios where the original person might even survive so the original biological person survives and yet I argue in the book that that original person and perhaps their computerized upload are both uh, you know, equally justified in being identified as the original mind uh, and, and I lay this out and of course detail in the book. The whole point of the book is to actually attempt to present a detailed defense of that position. Well, it's certainly because you said um, a lot of the uh, the people within the sort of uploading community have said, uh, said very good things about the book. Um, but I'm interested, uh, look, you know, Randall Kuhner and all that, um, but I am interested in uh, why you got interested in this subject. Um, you know, like the the idea of uploading was like it has been around for quite some time, and at least since 19, the 1950s when uh, The City and the Stars was written. Have you read that? And, and I no, it's, it's, it's at the top of my list. I actually don't read a whole lot of fiction, I'm afraid. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't have a lot of time for fiction, but because mm. uh, I'm so busy reading nonfiction all the time, mm. uh, City and the Stars is one of the books I absolutely have to read uh, at some point to... Uh, get a grip on how um, mm -hmm. fictional takes on mind uploading have been done and it is one of the first as you say yeah and also Hans Moravec's Mind Children as well yes I, I have read that yeah, yeah, <laughs> and his yeah. uh, what is the name of his later book um, so I have that one too yeah. and then uh, there have been several um, many authors have uh, you know taken the time and the effort to to really offer sort of uh, speculations on what this all might be like you know obviously one of the best known is Kurzweil but uh, you mentioned Moravec. Um, who was I going to say? Uh, Rodney Brooks has written books about uh, robotics, for sure. Um, I'm not, I don't remember if he's actually taken mind uploading uh, on directly in his writing. But uh, it's, it, these days, it's actually a pretty common topic. Even people who don't think about it you know, a lot all the time 
are are sort of familiar with it just because it's a common Hollywood trope at this point. Uh, it, everybody sort of understands the idea, so now we're all thinking about it to some extent. Yeah, one of my favorite books is actually uh, a good... Uh, oh, Greg Egan has wrote written some things on uploading, and one of his... I think it's um, Diaspora, was it? Or Permutation City? Diaspora? Yeah, dear, yeah. And Permutation uh, City. I think Permutation City was the one which uh, yeah, was was more about mind uploading. I forget now. But yeah, um, there's been quite a bit of um, interest in the, the topic within the fiction community, but now it seems to be taken seriously by quite a number of neuroscientists. And, uh, yes, you know the other book, uh, the other author and book that comes up a lot. He's much more recent. Is um, the book is called Accelerando, Charles oh, yes. Strauss. Strauss. Charles Strauss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, again, I haven't actually gotten around to reading it, but it is one of the books that always comes up uh, whenever people are thinking about mind uploading. So within within the fictional half of of uh, books, um, that's another one that people definitely like to uh, bring out. All right. All right, well, thanks for that introduction, and um, yeah, I'll just stop the interview here, and we'll go on for a more detailed one in the next section, for those who want to uh, delve into the deep and grimy details.